Hello everyone, in today's guide I'm gonna talk about something that you have asked a lot, Samuel shut the hell up, I'm talking to people, which is how to get the gold bullions and the reputation as fast as you can. As you can see right now, I am at the foundation. I already completed the main castle of the game, which is of course the one that takes you to ward 79. And right now what I do, you know, uh, when the daily reset uh, thing props, is that first I went to the overseer's home. When you go there, the daily quest, the, the photo taking opportunity, starts immediately as you approach the house. So I go in and just take that quest from whatever the robot's name is that the overseer has. Right now, what you need to choose, because he's gonna offer you two uh, choices, which is either to take a photo of the creator or the foundation, uh, is gonna matter to you, because it depends on what you want to work towards. Right now, since I'm a heavy gun build on this character, I wanna work towards the Gauss minigun, which is endgame reward from the raiders. So if you are the same as me, then what you need to do is to accept the photo taking opportunity on the foundation. And the reason for that is because if you take the photo of the foundation, then you can sell the photo to the raiders, who will in turn give you reputation. But if you think that, oh, wait well, Gary, but that's gonna, you know, kind of cancel the main part of the quest, which actually would give you treasury tickets. But no, even though if you don't have the charisma to convince the robot that you lost the photos, he would still give you the reward in that case, by the way, you can still go back to him, and even though he's gonna be pissed that you didn't bring the photos to him, he's gonna still give you treasury notes and the uh, script reward, even though that doesn't matter much. So yeah, what I'm gonna do right now is, you know, first step again, go to the overseer's home, take the photo taking opportunity, if you took the foundation one, then go to the foundation, take the photos. While you are here, go and accept the quest from Ward, uh, who is usually hanging around this area. But if you don't find him, then the easiest way to go about it is to go to your data daily. And you will definitely see, if it's re reset today, that there's gonna be one here called Vital Equipment. This is the one you're looking for. Talk to Ward. And once you tick that in, you see that there is him. He appeared on the map. This is how you found him, because sometimes he messes around here. I've got my oh, there you are. Fine. So you talk to him. Someone. If you can get it. He's gonna give you the daily quest, of course. I can show you. you just accept it. So now, I already spared myself away, because I had to go here anyway to take the photos, but now I picked up the quest from Ward as well. That saved me some time. Now I'm gonna go in, take the photo that I needed. The foundation generator, there you go, I got the quest done. Well, never not the quest done, but I got the requirements for it. And now, once I got that one done, arrive to the creator, it's gonna give you their daily daily um, quest, which is the retirement plan this time. So also, don't forget to toggle it in, because the game sometimes doesn't actually proc it to you, and you can search around for the guy you want all day that you want, but you still won't find him, because, yeah, they are kind of moving about. Anyway, so... There is our lady. Hello, Roxy. Give me some daily quest, please. If you only find it. Okay, cool. This is done. And now, as you can see, uh, there is the quest marker that appeared because I have this uh, photo taking opportunity taken from the crate. Uh, sorry, the, the foundation. I can now return the photos that I would usually would to Davenport, but I can give it to Kiyomi. But even though the you know it says or, you can still turn in the photos to Kiyomi getting the reputation uh, from the for the faction, but if you go back to Davenport, even though you haven't actually taken the photos, you can even say that, sorry, I sold them to somebody, he's gonna be angry at you, but he's still gonna give you the treasury notes, which is the one that you actually want, because treasury notes are the one that you need to grind out stuff. So yeah, you get reputation and treasury notes at the same time, which is really nice. Also, if you want to um, get a bit more reputation, I think that actually matters. Once you talk to Kiyomi, you can uh, tell it to her that um, I don't need caps, your friendship is reward enough. It's gonna give you a bit more reputation. Making the smart choice, huh? For now, I'm just gonna go back to Dave and Port and I'm gonna report to him um, what happened. Okay, so I'm back with Dave and Port, and just to oh, showcase you, I could either, if I had charisma, I could lie that I lost the photos and then he would still give me the same rewards, but I'm just gonna show you that I sold the pictures to someone else. If I choose what? this one, He's gonna be mad at me. And treasury notes, that's the one you want. So yeah, you don't lose anything by doing this that I showed you. 
So just uh, do this over and over again, and he's won he won't gonna care. He's just a robot. He's an idiot. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you something else that you probably wanna do as well, if especially if you want the raiders to be on your side. Go to Ohio Rivers Adventures. This is right up to the uh, Nuka Cola bottling plant. Okay, so once you teleport in, one thing you probably wanna know beforehand is to uh, actually go and grab some either Queen Mylark meat. I think you need two of those. Or 10 of the normal Mylark meat. Because once you come up to this place here, you're gonna find the Black Eye. Did you need to ask me something? Who's gonna give you a repeatable. Which is... I've got the middle of Mylark products for you. And this is what you can turn in. You can, you can turn in 1 Mylark Queen meat, 5 Mylark soft shell meat, or 50 Mylark eggs. But I got 10 Mylark meat that I picked up on the way here. I'm gonna give this to him. It's a small reputation, but it's still useful to have. Okay, I'm back at Ward, but before we end up this section of the video, I want to re reiterate quickly what you need to do. So, first of all, start your David Davenport's photo taking opportunity quest. Uh, depending on what sh uh, which uh, foundation or, or the creator's reputation you want, uh, you know, choose the opposing factions one. So, you know, if I'm trying to salvage the creator, then I choose the foundation one. Brought those photos to the creator. But only before taking a quick sh a quick stop at the foundation, doing those set photos and accepting the daily quest. And then you go back up to the creator, you know, drop down the photos, pick up their daily quest, and then do whichever daily quest is, you know, closest to you and then t turning them all in one by one. So that's gonna give you a reputation with your desired faction, plus the added reputation from the dailies, plus 9 treasury notes uh, just to start off your day. Once that's done, you're gonna move on to public events, which are events marked with this sort of uh, sign. Because each of these we're gonna give you either two, three, or I think even four treasury notes. I am pretty sure that's event based and not RNG based, because some of the events always gave me two. And I think this Scorched uh, Earth event, which is the, you know, the Mylurk, not Mylurk, uh, the Scorched Beast Queen fight gave you four. But don't quote me on that. Uh, you're gonna have between two and four, that's the thing that you need to know. And let me just quickly grab the list of events and I'm gonna show you which one is worth doing and which one isn't. When it comes to public events, these are the list of currently uh, in-game events that you can find. Plus the two that I added at the bottom, which was added in the um, Wastelanders DLC. And here is a little bit of a description of how or why they might be worth doing or not doing. I just uh, stop the screen if you wanna read them because I'm not gonna post too long for these. But yeah, the ones with the tick are usually the ones you need to look out for. Uh, if you want some uh, treasury notes quickly and efficiently, then these are probably your best bet to do. And some of them will actually give you some other uh, really valuable rewards as well. Okay, and before I finish up the video, I want to mention one more thing which was asked a lot on my previous video's comments, which is how you get the gold bullion so fast. So, as you might or might not have heard, you get 10, uh, not, not 10,000, sorry, 1,000 bullions from the Vault 79 raid if you decide to keep it all for yourself. You can of course choose to uh, donate either 500 for one faction or 250 for each faction to increase your reputation a bit, which is actually quite significant by the way, it's almost a full bar. But still, if you want to get all the rewards yourself, then I recommend uh, keeping all the bullions for yourself. Afterwards, you can go out to, um, to the Wayward, which is you know the beginning pub, and go to the second floor, but this only works after you have done the main quest. Because then, this guy will spawn in here, Smiley. And Smiley will give you 300 bullions for 6,000 caps. Well, that, of course, you can choose to be choose to have less, but still, I recommend buying the full kit. And then this resets every single week, which means I think on Tuesdays, uh, when usually the weekly resets are, he will be ready to give you 300 more, which is actually quite a lot. That's one and a half days worth of grind for just some caps. And of course, as I said, the 200 gold bullions each day that you get from either the foundation or the creator's depository is also quite nice. You know, the Wastelanders DSC has been out for like 4 days now. That's already 800 gold bullions that you could have gotten. That's almost as much as the one you get from the initial world trade. So yeah, be sure to grind out those ones with the treasury notes. Other than that, um, I think that's pretty much all I can say for today. Hopefully the Ghost Shotgun guide is coming up pretty soon if I can uh, grind out the reputation with the uh, Settlers. Afterwards I'm gonna try and grind out for the Ghost Minigun guide. Because I think both of those items are really interesting and I wanna make a guide on them. So yeah, subscribe and stick around for those ones if you are interested. Uh, but in the meantime, I thank you for watching and goodbye guys.